Hi there, I'm Lance King and I want to show you the exercises I've developed to help you create a good research question. This is usually the way you start on any major research project is by coming up with a well formulated research question. If you, if you do the research question well, then actually that can inform the entire project and make the entire project much easier or more difficult for you. So it's a very important part of the process. Now this exercise is only to be found in the DP portal. So if we go to the DP portal, we go down to Research Skills, Category 5, and look at Develop a Research Question. Now of course, as I've said before, um, just because this um, strand is only to be found in the DP portal doesn't mean that only DP students can use it. MYP students can use it as well. It just happens to have landed in the DP portal. And I suggest you just work through these five exercises sequentially, one at a time, and by the end of it you will have a very, very high quality research question. So it starts off here. Your research question is very important. So first you've got to start by thinking about in which subject you're going to be doing this research project. So you, in order to do this strand, you have to have a research project imminently in front of you to do, like the personal project, the extended essay, some other science or other subject-based research project to do. What is the subject you're going to be doing the research project in? Write that in. Why are you doing it? What is the purpose? Will it be marked, graded and scored? If so, how? It's very important to be very aware of the way in which the research project will be marked. And if so, what are the criteria for assessment? So finding out the criteria will inform the entire project. Having done that, you've got to choose a topic. Write down the names of the topics or units you've enjoyed so far in this subject. So within that subject, you're going to be investigating what are some aspects, some topics that you have already enjoyed. And then do a quick Wikipedia search. Now, I know teachers don't recommend you use Wikipedia, but I think Wikipedia is excellent for one thing, just for finding keywords, just for finding a very basic explanation of the topic. Not to do in-depth research, but just to find some keywords. So I'm going to suggest you use a quick Wikipedia, Wikipedia search to come up with five possible ideas or keywords of areas within this topic that might interest you. And then you've got to find your angle. Now you do a general search. You pick out one of those keywords, something that interests you, and do a general search, not in Wikipedia, and skim through the information until you find an angle, a perspective, an unknown, something that interests you about this topic, and write it down here and then compare it with the, with the criteria. Criteria are, has a good body of information, can, can you find a good body of information to explain the detail of the particular perspective you're looking at? Does it have some practical application that you can look into? And will it be seen by others, especially teachers, as interesting and worth learning about? If you can answer yes to at least two of these, then you're on track towards a great research topic. Then you've got to write, write the actual question. The research question will outline an investigation which usually asks what the effects of one thing will be on another thing. And you can go to the my, um, scientific inquiry uh, strand and find out exactly how to organise the influence of a, de a dependent variable on an independent variable. Look at your chosen topic and start generating questions using words like who, what, where, when, how, why, how much. Write down three possible questions you might like to investigate in this table here. Then quest check your questions against these ideas. Can the answer be found in a simple search? If so, try again. You want a more complex search. Is it a new issue or a, or a, new, and a new perspective on a previously researched topic? Both are good. Is the research question able to be researched? Is there good information available? Consider your time frame, deadlines. You want something that takes some work to find the, the real useful information, but you don't want something so obscure that there isn't anything on the internet available for it. Is the research question measurable? This is usually a good thing, unless the answer is one fact only. Then you will want to have measurable data that can make the basis of a good argument. And is the research question not too broad or too narrow? 
So this is where you move to exercise four. This is analyzing your question for breadth and depth. It's got a whole series of possible research questions on the left, and then the feedback on whether they are too narrow or too broad. So read through all these different questions and think about um, comparing your question with the ones found in this table. Some useful phrases here, some good phrases to use in your research question, and some weak phrases are found here. And so now you need to rewrite your research question with what you think of as the right words, the right breadth, and the right depth to make it worth pursuing. And then lastly, evaluate your question. Is it clear, focused, and arguable? And it asks these questions, and you've got to see... Um, do you answer yes to each of these questions? My supervisor and the examiner will understand the nature of my research. Yes or no? My research question will effectively direct the research. My research question is specific enough to allow for investigation. My research question allows for analysis, evaluation, and the writing of a reasoned argument. If not, start again and go back to the beginning. So there are a lot of small exercises to do, but by the time you've got to the end of it, you will have a brilliant research question, which will then enable the research that you have to do to be so much easier than if you start with a question which just doesn't lend itself to a good research project. So I hope that was useful for you. Thank you. Goodbye.